Today I will show you how to protect your digital funds in your MetaMask browser wallet. If you care about your investments and online safety and you don't want to give away all your cryptocurrencies to some hacker, then this will be the most important video ever. Before I'm going to reveal my security tips, please be sure to have an antivirus program on your computer. If you have crypto sitting on your computer or laptop, but don't have a basic antivirus software running, then you're exposing your funds to the entire world, and sooner or later you will be scammed. It's just a matter of time. Don't be naive. There are many horror stories out there, just do a search on Google, and you will find tons of stories of people who lost everything. Another important thing to keep in mind is to never download illegal software and torrent files like movies, music or games from malicious websites. These files are often infected with keyloggers or Trojan horses that can track everything you do on your system, making it simple for a hacker to take control over your computer and your crypto. Always be careful and don't take any risk when it comes down to keeping your funds safe. MetaMask is a popular cryptocurrency wallet that comes as a plug-in on Chrome, Brave, and Firefox internet browsers. It's a non-custodial cross-chain wallet that enables you to store crypto assets based on Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Polygon, and other blockchains. Unlike a bank or a wallet on a crypto exchange, MetaMask does not control your funds or transactions. As long as you secure your wallet and own your private keys, only you will control your money. If you don't already have a MetaMask wallet, then check out my video on how to set up and connect MetaMask to the Ethereum or Binance Smart Chain network. When you create a MetaMask wallet, you are given a 12-word secret recovery phrase, also called a seed phrase. Anyone who has access to your secret phrase could send crypto from your account, so never give it away. Write it down on paper and hide it somewhere, put it in a safety deposit box, or use a secure password manager. Some users even engrave their phrases into metal plates. MetaMask does not control any of your personal or private data on their servers. Everything is encrypted in your browser and protected by your password. If you ever need to restore your MetaMask, you can only do that with your seed phrase. If you lose the seed phrase, there is no way for the MetaMask support team to recover this for you. Many people think that crypto wallets store cryptocurrency. Unfortunately, this is not true. Instead, cryptocurrency wallets simply store information about your cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrencies only exist on huge databases called ledgers. These ledgers keep a record of all the crypto token transactions that are made. Crypto tokens can be moved around the blockchain using public and private keys but can never leave it. Private keys are the only way to prove ownership of crypto. MetaMask private keys are stored inside your browser, and not on a remote server. MetaMask does not have access to your information, but the browser it's installed on does and may collect information about when and how you use the MetaMask app. This makes it vulnerable for hackers and thieves who use spyware to attack your computer. One of the main disadvantages of a hot wallet like MetaMask is security. Any information that's stored online is more at risk than information that's stored offline and that's why you need to lock your wallet if you don't use it. The problem with a browser like Chrome is that Chrome does not lock your wallet automatically when you browse the web. It will only lock MetaMask if you close the browser or restart your system. If you have visited a malicious website before, and the tab is still open, then the site can look right into your wallet and in the worst case, take out all your crypto funds. Locking your wallet is simple. Click on the account name at the top of MetaMask, and then click the lock button. MetaMask will lock itself until you activate it again with your password. This is the first important step to protect your funds. You can also let MetaMask automatically lock itself if you don't use it. Go to Settings, select Advanced, and in the Auto Lock Timer, set the idle time in minutes before MetaMask will lock itself. I have set my wallet to lock itself every 10 minutes. This may be annoying if you make a lot of transactions, but safety comes with some effort. You should also close any open tabs if you are doing a MetaMask transaction. When your MetaMask is unlocked, it is possible that the address you are using can be viewed by other tabs you have open. 
This can provide sensitive information to hackers, information that can be used to mislead you. By using your wallet address only, a malicious person can find out all the transactions you are making. Blockchain explorers like Etherscan or BSC Scan show the time, amount and origin or recipient of either outgoing or incoming transaction. Armed with this information, an attacker can set up a phishing activity like a fake pop-up that asks for your secret password or seed phrase, or even worse, allow full access to your crypto. But when your MetaMask wallet is locked, it is not possible for other websites to view your wallet. The most common risk facing MetaMask wallets are phishing attacks. A phishing attack is used by hackers to steal your personal information like seed phrases and passwords. It can work like this. John is working on his laptop with several tabs open in his browser. He unlocks his MetaMask wallet to make a transaction, and a hacker who uses the open tab to spy on John's computer sees John opening and using the MetaMask app. The attacker can send John a pop-up that looks like a message from MetaMask, saying that his transaction has failed, and that he needs to enter his password again. This is something that can happen, so John isn't worried and enters his password in the pop-up to remake the transaction. Now the attacker has access to John's password and can drain all the funds from his wallet. This kind of attack is quite common, and MetaMask is working on patches for this problem. In the meanwhile, always be well aware of pop-ups that ask for your password or wallet details. You are responsible for your safety. Open one browser tab at a time when using MetaMask, and lock the wallet when done. In order to swap tokens, use liquidity pools, stake or interact with smart contracts, you are required to allow MetaMask permission to the websites to use your crypto assets. Once approved, the smart contract has permission to use your tokens. This is handy if you want to quickly swap or stake tokens and don't want to make a connection every time you use the platform. However, this brings certain risks. Many users have lost their assets because they weren't aware about backdoors that were placed in smart contracts by malicious developers. What often happens is that such platforms ask you for permission to spend an unlimited number of your tokens. When interacting with well-known DeFi platforms with audited contracts such as PancakeSwap, Uniswap or Zappify, you don't have to worry too much about this. However, in the case of recently launched DeFi platforms which haven't been audited, you need to watch out. Once a platform has been granted unlimited permissions to spend your tokens, malicious developers are able to control your funds, even if you have withdrawn your tokens from the platform. In many DeFi applications, the unlimited spending option is a default setting and MetaMask is asked for infinite approval before you deposit or spend tokens. This setting can be convenient and useful for saving time on future approval transactions. However, if you give infinite approval to a smart contract, and that contract gets exploited or some hacker gains control of the address, they can sweep the specific tokens from any wallet. You can easily disconnect MetaMask from platforms that you no longer use. In the account view, click on the three dots button on the top right hand corner, and in the expanded menu, click on connected sites. Click on the trash can button next to any sites you wish to disconnect from. By having multiple wallets, and using one wallet per project, you can keep the funds which you don't want to invest safe because the other wallets didn't allow spending on the specific project. Especially your main wallet should never accept any contract whatsoever. This wallet should be used for sending and receiving tokens only. In MetaMask you can create new wallets in just a few clicks. If you switch computers then it might take a few minutes to import all of your wallets back into MetaMask, but it's a small price to pay in order to keep your funds safe. You can also revoke permissions to use your wallet via a website like DeBank. Connect your MetaMask wallet first, and then click the approval link to see how many sites have access to your wallet. A new page shows all your token exposure per blockchain and the approved amount of tokens per contract. On the right side of the contract there's a decline button. Click the decline button to revoke the permissions you gave to the smart contract. This will cost you a small transaction gas fee but it can save you a lot of trouble and pain. There are plenty of other sites to revoke smart contract permissions. Unrect is a smart contract allowance checker that supports Ether, BSC, Polygon and some other networks. BSC Scan also allows you to check your wallet permissions.
it's still in beta, so it doesn't work right now, but if you enter your wallet address in the search form, click the more link and select the token allowance link, a list with all the connected sites will appear. Unwrecked Hyperjump is another website for removing permissions to your wallet on BSC and Phantom networks. Polygon Scan is for revoking access to your MetaMask app for the Polygon network wallets only, and the last site to check your wallet connections and revoke addresses that can spend your tokens is Beefy Finance. Try them out, and see which one works best for you. I will drop all the links in this video below in the description box. Don't forget that when you use these sites, you always need to pay a small gas fee for the transactions. Smart contract permission revocation is an important step to ensure the safety of all assets in your wallet. You can also manually adjust some security settings in MetaMask. I recommend using them in both the browser extension and mobile app. In the advanced settings, set the auto lock timer to 5 minutes. Turn off any experimental features. Turn on the use phishing detection and turn on all alerts, so you'll be warned when something unusual takes place inside your wallet. Most of these settings are turned on by default but it is worth checking if they are active. I also recommend you to not store too much crypto in your wallet. Think of your MetaMask wallet like a bag of pocket change you can take to go shopping. Keep your crypto in different accounts and wallets. You also don't walk around in real life with all your savings in your wallet, right? So, don't put more money in your wallet than you can afford to lose. If you have a large amount of tokens sitting in your account, consider getting a hardware wallet, also called a cold wallet. Hardware wallets are the safest and most robust devices to store your crypto. They sign crypto transactions through private keys which are stored offline, inside the device itself, so nobody can tamper with them. The Ledger Nano is a popular hardware wallet. It has its own operating system and does not interact with the internet, which makes it so secure. When you send a transaction through your ledger, it uses the private key inside the encrypted memory. Your keys never touch your computer, or the memory of your browser. Unless someone has physical access to your device and knows the secret PIN code to log in, there's no way to make a transaction. It doesn't matter if your computer is infected with malware or a keylogger, a ledger is the recommended way to keep your funds safe, especially if you have more than $1,000 or $10,000 in your account. A ledger is cheap. You can buy the basic Ledger Nano S for $59, or the latest version, the Ledger Nano X for $119. These devices can save you a lot of money and sleepless nights. And if your MetaMask is connected with your ledger, your private keys will never touch the web browser and nobody will be able to see your funds. Even MetaMask itself can't look into your ledger and see your keys. Every transaction is signed inside the ledger, and MetaMask only sends the transaction to the blockchain. A hardware wallet will add an extra layer of security and make it impossible for a hacker to steal your crypto. Ledger devices come with a software called Ledger Live, which is basically the equivalent of the App Store to the iPhone, providing you with a safe gateway to all your crypto services. Ledger Live also works with the Binance Smart Chain. All you need to do is install the Binance Smart Chain app on your ledger. Navigate into the Accounts tab, and create a Binance Smart Chain account. Here's a website with all the details on how to do it right. I will drop the link below this video. Ledger can store over 1800 crypto assets, and the Ledger Live app allows you to manage all your tokens directly from the wallet. The only downside is that you need to approve every MetaMask transaction with your Ledger device, but if security is your main concern, this is the best option to protect your funds. If you want to find out more details about the Ledger Hard Wallet, I will leave a link to the website below. Remember to only use the original Ledger website to buy a Ledger. Don't buy it second-hand from eBay or another site. The device can be set up with a seed phrase, and if you don't know much about crypto or security and you use this seed phrase, your funds can be taken away in a snap. Okay. Let me recap the most important steps again. 1. Always use an antivirus program, and never download illegal files or torrents to your computer. 2. Write down your secret phrase on a piece of paper and store it somewhere safe where nobody can find it. 3. Never enter your secret phrase in a pop-up form that appears on your screen. 4. Always lock your MetaMask app if you don't use it. 5. 
Only open one tab at a time in your browser if you make a transaction on the network. 6. Disconnect MetaMask from DeFi websites and other platforms that you no longer use. 7. Revoke MetaMask to access websites that allow unlimited spending. 8. Think of it like a bag of pocket change you can take to go shopping, and put no more money in your wallet than you can afford to lose. 9. Use a hardware wallet like Ledger to add an extra security layer to MetaMask. If you stick to these basic rules, you will be protected against the most popular hacks. Please feel free to share this video with others, so they can also benefit from my tips. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. If you have a comment or question, feel free to add it in the comment section below. If you like this video, please leave a like or even better, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to get the latest videos first. Have a wonderful day.